A detailed guide on Comet C-2022 E3, ZTF. Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rock, and dust that orbit the sun. When frozen they are the size of a small town. When a comet's orbit brings it close to the sun, it heats up and spews dust and gases into a giant glowing head larger than most planets. The dust and gases form a tail that stretches away from the sun for millions of miles. Comets are mostly found way out in the solar system. Some exist in a wide disk beyond the orbit of Neptune called the Kuiper Belt. We call these short-period comets. They take less than 200 years to orbit the sun. Other comets live in the Oort cloud, the sphere-shaped, outer edge of the solar system that is about 50 times farther away from the sun than the Kuiper Belt. These are called long-period comets because they take much longer to orbit the sun. The comet with the longest known orbit takes more than 250,000 years to make just one trip around the sun. Comet C, 2022 E3. ZTF, was discovered by astronomers using the Wide Field Survey Camera at the Zwicky Transient Facility in 2022 early March. The comet is making its first close pass by Earth in 50,000 years and has not been seen since the time of the Neanderthals. Since then the new long-period comet has brightened substantially and is now sweeping across the northern constellation Corona Borealis in pre-dawn skies. It's still too dim to see without a telescope though. On a voyage through the inner solar system, Comet 2022E3 will be at perihelion, that is closest to the Sun, in the new year on January 12th, and it will be at perigee, that is farthest from Sun and closest to our fair planet Earth, on February 1st. The brightness of comets is notoriously unpredictable, but by then C, 2022E3, ZTF, could become only just visible to the eye in dark night skies. Comet 2022E3, ZTF, is currently visible using a telescope, but as it approaches Earth it is expected to get brighter and easier to see. As mentioned earlier it will make it closest approach to Earth on February 1st hence it may get visible naked eye under dark skies. A pair of binoculars will add more charm to it. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory says that skywatchers in the Northern Hemisphere should be able to spot the comet in dark skies when there is little moonlight, such as when the new moon rises on January 21st. Hence in the final week of January the comet's brightness is expected to increase before it makes its closest approach to Earth. The best and the easiest way to find out the comet is by using a stargazing application called Sky Tonight. Here is a short video on it. The link to download the application is given in the description below. After opening the application you have to set date and time from top right side. Once it is done you have to click on the search option and then type Comet C 2022 E3 and click on it. After it you have to click on the compass option seen as blue circle in bottom right side and then the application will show the location of the comet on that particular day and time. You can also fast forward the time to track its path. So this is how you can search the location of comet for February 1st and observe it in the sky. Hope this video will be helpful to you in finding the accurate location of comet in the night sky. Do share the video if you liked it and subscribe the channel for more updates on it.